The expanded notation method uses the long division bracket. The quotient is built place, place value by place value above the bracket, so each place value is represented by a number rather than by a digit, like in the standard algorithm. So it'd be 700 um, when you see the quotient above instead of 7. This method is comparable to the method described in the um, DPI unpacked content as well. So as with the area model, it's really important to present this method to students in context. And so one of the examples in an alignment lesson is um, Mr. Hernandez's dilemma. So Mr. Hernandez is hosting a barbecue, barbecue at the park near his house. He plans to invite 192 people to the barbecue and will serve them each a hamburger. If hamburgers come in packages of eight, how many packages of hamburgers should Mr. Hernandez buy? So I'm going to write the problem using the standard long division sign and Mr. Hernandez is going to work um, to find out how many groups of eight are in 192. So that's what I need to do as well. So I'm going to write it the same way I actually would write it with the standard algorithm. Um, but the divisor factor that I know goes on the left and the dividend or product goes inside the bracket. So I think about what number times eight would give me an answer close to 192 without going over. I know that 20 times eight is 160, so 20 gives me an answer close to 192 without going over. So I'm gonna write 20 above the bracket um, or above the long division sign. And then I'm going to multiply 20 times 8 and write the product 160 below the 192. Then I'm subtract and I end up with the difference of 32 below it. Since I still have 32, um, which is part of my initial dividend that I need to take care of, um, I know that 4 times 8 is 32, so I'm actually going to write the 4 above the 20. So now I have two partial quotients that are recorded above the long division sign. And then I multiply 4 times 8, I have 32, and I write the difference below that. So since I have a remainder of 0, I know that I'm finished with my quotients and I need to add the partial quotients to find the final quotient, which is 24. So Mr. Hernandez needs to buy 24 packages of hamburgers. Some students are going to make connections between this method and the formal algorithm and that's perfectly acceptable, but the formal algorithm is not an expectation of students until middle school.